Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Valheim video. We are going to be decorating the interior of the house that we made. So let's have a quick look what we did last time. We got all these spikes in, we got the bridge, we got the doors, we got the gate, the golden gate. And if you guys didn't see, I'll quickly show you how it works. So role play here for a second. We are getting raided. Oh no. So they're going to come attack the weakest point, which is here, obviously. we got bang bangs from up here. And then if they manage to break through there without them all dying, they, and they'll come up to here and they'll try to get through this door. But um, this is also two doors like this. If I do that, if I do that. And then there's also two doors. Okay, hold on. Okay, so there's two doors there, and there's two doors here, but these ones are always pretty much, pretty much they're always going to be open, but th those ones are going to be closed, so if they make it that close, then I've got this nice little area here where I can take them out. So we're going to see how that works. We might get a raid during, actually it doesn't matter if we get a raid during this episode because we're still on the troll raids, so the troll raids... I'm going to keep them away from the base because I don't want them swinging those those big logs and destroying everything that I work so hard to build. I'm just going to run out there and take them out with a bow and arrow. But when we start getting raids with like uh, skeletons and, and wolves or whatever, we're, we'll deal with it then. So for now, we're just going to spend today decorating the inside. So what we have here, we come into the entrance. We've got the storage, which I'm going to keep pretty much like that. And we're going to make this where the crafting table goes. We're going to make... Wait, no, this is where the crafting table goes. This is where the forge is going to go. But I'm going to be expanding this. I might get rid of this and, and have it more crafty area. This is just so I could build further on the other side, so no worries. But it could be like a bit of storage or something. I'm not too sure. We can always extend this out. And then coming upstairs, we have our bed, which obviously we are going to make this area into a lovely bedroom. And then this could just be like a, I don't know, seating area? I don't know. But yeah, we got the fire upstairs. So that was the whole point of having the fire on that, on that glitchy, you know. And then coming out here, we've got, I've extended this across on both sides. So now we can walk around the whole outside of... Of the, oh, I didn't do it to this. I need to do it to this. Um, it's just quicker than running inside and popping back out again. But I'll, I'll just do that. But yeah, so we've got these walls. So we can hide behind here and then bang. You know, bang. If, if it ever comes to it. And then same one here. We've got one there. We've got one there. And that is basically all caught up. So now we're going to get in to the interior designs. Okay, this is not perfect. But... I've made a circle going around here. Might just do because I'm scared that this might fall down if I destroy all this how it is now. So I'm just gonna add in supports while I knock this down. And I hope nothing starts breaking. If it does, I'm gonna be really sad. Like really sad. So just for now anyway until we sort of get this sorted out so we're gonna bring it um what we might do here which i think would be pretty cool if we can do like a, a inbuilt shelf like that that would be cool and we may as well do it on all the corners so let's do this bringing it around like that. We'll have this going in one, in one, and in one. That one's not perfect, but it's going to have to do. Okay. And then we might be able to snap it. Yeah, we can still snap it. That's cool. Let's do the same on this side. And the same on this side. 
cool. And then I think I want to do this going all the way up, right? I mean, it would look a bit silly if we didn't. Oh, it looks like we need to go get some more wood. Okay, I really don't know how I've done this, but we do have a floating fire. There's not much I can say uh, to explain this. But it's somehow floating, so I'm happy with that. As long as we can keep the fuel going, <laughs> then it won't be destroyed. And when it does get destroyed... In the future, I'm going to be really upset. I'm going to have to do all this again. But yeah, I was just bringing this all the way up. I'm, I, I want to bring this all the way up, but I cannot break this. This will definitely remove the fire. I know, because it's like the last piece of ground that's <laughs> still visible. So um, this is just going to be the ugly side, and we're not going to talk about it. Oh. I'm also worried if I put a piece like here where it's gonna go in the fire it's gonna destroy it so we're just gonna go like that with a floor underneath just to keep it on the safe side Alright, now I really want to put pillars in like this, right? So, for instance, if we put some in like that. I really want this, but it, is it taking up too much room? Because if I delete these, you know, it's wider. It looks a bit... Actually, you know what we're going to do? This is how we can test it properly, because this is kind of what I want to do, is get that there. And have, you know, like a glowing, I think that looks cool. And then we could maybe have another shelf. Something else can go on that. Maybe if we, I don't know. But we could do that. And then on this one, could be something else. Like, uh, if I got anything else that glows up. <laughs> This is what it's come to. Looks quite nice, except from that side. That's the ugly side, remember? But the rest of it looks pretty sweet. We got the glowing mushrooms, so it's going to stand out at night. We could put some other things on here now. I might put some banners or some um, weapon stands. Would look quite nice on this. Alright, guys, the time has come. Finally. The time has come. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I don't know what to do. Okay. Alright. We've got a raid. And of course it starts raining. Okay. We've got a raid and it's a swamp raid. So that's awesome. So exactly what I thought was going to happen. They're going to go for the entrance first. So let's let them just sort of do... With the how are they okay? They are not as I thought they were smarter than that, but okay. All right, so we've we've got one shooting from over there. Let's head upstairs into the archer area. We need more stamina. This is exactly, this is cool. This is exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Yeah, this is, this is perfect. This is what I built it for. All right, we just need more stamina. We can relax for a little bit. But it seems like they don't really they're not really getting in 
They don't care about this. All they care about is trying to get in from the sides, which, you know, isn't the smartest move. Because I'm just going to shoot them. Like, what are you doing, mate? Okay, now he's trapped down there. Who else is around? We got a skelly here. Okay. Well, that was an easy raid. We've just got some prisoners in our moat. Let's go and have a look. So I'll be careful not to slip in because I do not want to get jumped by a bunch of those guys. Oh, actually, I've not even collected the um the with the intestines, whatever they're called, the entrails. I've not got those, so I'm about to unlock a bunch of stuff. Okay, so we've got some still trapped in here. Still one more. Oh jeez. Oh wow. Okay. Hold on. Wait! I wasn't ready for that. Oof, jeez. Okay. <laughs> that was close. I almost just really just messed up then and died. But we're good. So where's these Andrails at? New recipes. Oh, wait. Do we have new recipes? Wait, did I already collect them before? Have I? Oh, honestly, I, I can't even remember. Oh, wait, no. I don't think you actually unlock anything with the entrails in it. You you have to get something else to unlock those. Because um, I know sausages, you get sausages from entrails. I think that's it. That's why I'm confused. Cool. It held up pretty... Oh, jeez. It held up pretty well. Let's put a station here so I can repair all this. Can I put more? So it held up pretty well. They didn't go for here, which I thought they might have. They sort of, some of them did, but the rest just sort of surrounded the area. So, I mean, it works. It's safe to an extent. All of this is not very good. I need to put a roof over this bridge because it's about to collapse. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna build a roof over this. Otherwise this is gonna collapse soon. Okay, so for the next few minutes it's just me going around doing some fixing some little imperfections and adding some detail. Uh, so it's just gonna be a little time lapse, so and just sit back, enjoy the music.
it, let's see how it does against trolls. Because, yeah, uh, okay. Can I, oh gosh, oh gosh, oof. Oh shit, okay, uh. <laughs> The trolls are taking a lot of damage from those spikes. And there's one stuck in the hole. Okay. That's doing well, I think. <laughs> oh jeez, I've got like no stamina. They're not doing a lot of damage though. Oh, okay, yes they are. Okay, that's one. Now this guy is a bit annoying. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> oh, I did not know there was going to be more. It scared the heck out of me. I need to get my stuff. Good. Alright, so... Is there more? Or did the other one leave? I think he's left. We got a bunch of hide out of that. And gold. It did not hold up very well. But, I mean, it did its job. Let's go get rested. And we'll repair that in a sec. So this is just another little time lapse of me making the work shop station of the house which turns out quite nice if I may say so myself so stick around and watch this one and I'll be right back.
So I've been playing around with a lot of different pieces and made this uh, workbench which I'll probably just add music to uh, while I'm building it. And it's quite nice, I made this little table and I tried to put a, a building hammer there but it doesn't really... So this here is the, um, the, the shield tower on a thing and then that's a mushroom and that's a thing there. Um, to make it look like some sort of board but it doesn't stick through but it still looks like there's something there so I'm gonna keep it but pretty much yeah this is so the workbench and the forge are all upgraded as high as I can get it at the moment until we unlock iron and I'm not sure what I want to do on this side yet but I'll figure out something and then over here is where our kitchen is going to be. It's going to be like a small sort of kitchen, probably go like right angle, 90 degrees like this. Um, I'm just going to have a little think. Oh, we are running low on food. Um, so I'm going to have a little think and then I will be right back once I figure out what's going to look good. That I, I want to put the kitchen in this area, not here because I, I need a chimney. And so if I could extend this out, just like what I did over there, then I can uh, make it a place for a fire, so then we can actually do cooking and things. And I want room to be able to put um, these fermenters. So it would be good if I can get that out there. So I'm going to do a bit more construction on the base, just to this section. And I kind of want to move these stairs somewhere else, but I will sort that in a moment okay this is now extended out i'm gonna make this the kitchen i am gonna move the stairs to make them more compact if if i can bring it around like a swirl or something that would be good so i'm gonna focus on something like that and then i will get to work on the kitchen so what i think i might do is put a little fire in this corner and then I'll just have cabinets and things around there. Of course, there's a fog coming in. I will cut this to when I have built a little fire. Okay, so now we're being raided again. But we're not going to lead them to the front entrance. Because it's, it's pretty broken. I'll just see what it's like taking them out from the side. Seems like it's doing well. Okay, they're doing damage to the walls, but that's kind of it. You can't reach me. It's going well. Night time, damn it. And I'm not even rested, actually. What happens if we quickly get rested while they uh, do what they need to do? Oh, he just hit the house, I think. Okay, he's doing damage to the house. I think. I don't know. It's not unraidable. Oh, he's damaging everything. Oh, gosh. Poisoned. Please don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, I have these, actually. Yes. Okay, I need to rest badly, but the troll is gone. It's, I think it despawned. It's a brute. I need to sleep, actually. I can't believe it destroyed the whole workshop. I've spent ages just making that. Gosh, damn it. Alright, I need to sleep. Okay, I'm gonna have to spend some time rebuilding this back to how it was not even that long ago so after the troll attack this is finally now built back together it's looking nice sort of back how it is i've left this open for when we unlock the tool shelf and and we can do the other on this side but we got a nice shelf here um but yeah it's looking pretty good back to it we got Tank yard there, wizard hat at the top. 
and I included these wood shutters but I didn't put them anywhere near the crafting table because I didn't want to come to use the crafting table and accidentally click on a, a wood shutter because it's annoying um, and the same with the forge but the next thing we're gonna do is the kitchen and this here I've moved the cauldron so that we can put it in here so I thought this would be a cool place for it so we can have the cauldron oh, we'll just we don't need like realism here just like that and that works fine just like that but I need to sort out the chimney because it's raining right now and it keeps putting the fire out so let's just jump up there and, and sort that out it needs to be like a weatherproof chimney which I'm not sure if I can exactly do that from here but I'll give it a go okay that should be decent the smoke should still get through and Let's go check if it's weatherproof. I hope so. Cool, it is. And the smoke is still making it through, but I need to change that. Um, it's a bit fiddly in this area. I need to make some chests. And these will go underneath the cabinets. And just a few, so maybe like one, two, three, maybe like this. And this could be a <clears throat> like a pantry, a big cupboard. If I was to set this up, kind of like that and like that cool let's bring it up and so if we place this properly we'll just like like that going across like this and then we can have it going back a little bit we'll have um, hmm. how do I make this look good That works. And need some more nails. So how does that work? It goes the other way, I don't want it to go that way. <laughs> that doesn't look good. Change that up. Well if I do this, oh that goes that way. Why is it doing that? Maybe we just need one of these here. Would that work? It goes out though. Right, it goes in. But, I mean... It's probably the best. That looks alright though, it's got pattern to it. We'll keep it like that. Okay, so that can be the pantry. And if we do another one of these in here. Maybe like back there like that. And then same on the other side if we can. Zoom in please. Thank you. Cool. So those can be the herbs for the food. These here can be, and, and this could be, I don't know, that could be anything. And then these can be, like, meat. So let's just 
Uh, we'll do that. Bring that going across. this to be flush like that that looks good and maybe we can just bring this in another one in the corner too nice Okay, so we're going to start off with a small tour of the downstairs and uh, what I have so far. Coming in, we have the storage sort of area, all the chests and whatnot. And then this is the crafting section, which I've now rebuilt twice, uh, thanks to the trolls. So I might have to make the moat outside a bit bigger or do something about that. But it's quite cute, you know, you've got a couple tools laying around. Um, there's space for everything. Wizard hat up there. And a nice little table, a little chopping board or workbench. Um, and then over here is the kitchen. And this is kind of like a little pantry. So you can close that and open that. And then we've got some food and things in these chests underneath. So a bit of decor. The spear here is meant to be one of those fire. Um, I, for I forgot what they're called, those big sticks that you move the charcoal around with. And then we can access the cauldron here, and we've got a couple more cookie stations there. <clears throat> and then right here, I have two fermenters, which this is where I'll keep all the things for that. And then we've got a tiny little dining table, because it's just going to be me and, you know, maybe someone else, I don't know. 
Um, and then there's this middle section, which is obviously where the fireplace is for upstairs. And you saw what we did with this earlier. It's quite nice. Nice little round feature to the build to hide the fireplace. And I've just put some... I put deodes everywhere because I haven't unlocked other ones yet. We're not that far into the game. But yeah, so it's quite a nice little downstairs section. And I've got some of these fire sconces, if that's how you pronounce them. We've got some of those laying around, so it gives it a bit more warmth. Um, I have yet to do something with... Um, I know, I built more storage here. I was thinking of putting one of the cartography tables around, but I'm not sure if I'm ever going to use it. So Pretty much that's all for downstairs so far, until we start unlocking, unlocking some more like decorative things and, and other crafting things and whatnot. Um, and then coming upstairs, this is where we're going to have the master bedroom. So <laughs> right now we just have a single bed, but this is going to be a nice big bedroom. But we could probably do this next episode. But that is pretty much, pretty much all of it. Um, so the kitchen fire is coming out here this is the chimney for it and then obviously this is the fire upstairs so that I can sleep upstairs instead of downstairs and there's like a tiny bit of ground that hold that that holds it up but yeah we've got these heads that stick through which is kind of annoying so I might I might um lower those heads because they'll they will just stick in through like you would chip your toe on that also, for the future plans, I'm going to make a smelting house, or like a blacksmith. So I'm going to knock down one of the, you know, these walls. I'm going to have a bridge coming out this way. Or I might just lift up the land again. And I might extend this, these walls out, and I'm going to have a blacksmith separately. I think that would work quite nicely. And that's all I pretty much want to do with, with this place, you know, is slowly expand it. I could even have a separate part for a, a work station, uh, like a workshop. I also made this bridge because the this still looks like maybe it's not undercover. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Just a lot of chill decorating. But hopefully you guys get some ideas for your own worlds. So I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video where I might try find a swamp I'm not sure if we found one yet so we might venture out to the swamplands um, I have actually quickly before the video right end the video from trolls attacking I've got so much so I think I can upgrade this more I'm not too sure how it works but I do need to make bronze armor I need to go farm some more bronze up or copper and tin shall I say because we ended up using a lot for other stuff if you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe and i will see you all in the next one have an awesome day